Bulletproof asset protection. Not a term you hear a lot of attorneys using. Why? Because we're risk averse and we're afraid we'll promise something that doesn't come true and then we get blamed, something like that. But people I see claiming bulletproof asset protection, it's really far from bulletproof. And that's my complaint. I wanted to talk about what is not bulletproof asset protection in this video. One thing I see from a lot of LLC promoters, basically that you set up this LLC, put your stuff in there and you're all set. You don't have to worry about any lawsuits, you don't have to worry about going to court, you don't have to worry about losing your assets. And it's kind of like this vest, a bulletproof vest, which is really a bad name for it because they're not really bulletproof. I mean, this vest has its weaknesses. I mean, the one I'm wearing doesn't even have metal plates in it. I didn't need them for the prop in this video, so I just got the look here. But somebody shoots me with this. This ain't doing much. See, the thing about this vest is I, I have this whole body. Uh, maybe if I got shot below here, not up here, but down here, above here in this section, Maybe I'm good. Maybe it's the best thing to have in place and it saves my life. You're alive. Bulletproof vest. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe somebody shoots me up here in this region. This isn't gonna do me a lot of good in that case. You know, that's what I see with a lot of lawsuits against LLCs. The first thing an attorney does is files claims for fraud or gross negligence, and just like that, your LLC shield is smoked. That goes right through your LLC and goes straight to you personally, and it's just gone through the protection that you had. Same on this bulletproof vest, you hit it with heavy enough ammunition, it's also not gonna stop something. It could go straight through here. So somebody has those big claims or makes up some big claims, again, your bulletproof vest of an LLC is not going to do you much good. What would I consider bulletproof really? Bulletproof asset protection, something that would be entirely bulletproof, entirely impossible to break, is typically not what most people want. Most people that we talk to aren't looking for this kind of protection because it requires having no control over your assets anymore. You have independent parties controlling, investing your assets, your uh, cash is offshore in another bank. Those are the types of plans that have the highest, highest, highest level of protection, but most people are willing to dial it back a little bit in order to have a plan that works for them, that works in their flexi uh, as flexible for them. If you enjoyed this video, take those finger guns, click on that mouse, hit that like button. I would appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Till next time. <sighs>